Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Running your Flutter app in Visual Studio Code enhances development and debugging. This tutorial provides a step-by-step -step guide on setting up and executing Flutter applications seamlessly within Visual Studio Code. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, the first thing guys that you will need to do is to download flutter.dev. So, simply all you need to do is to click here to get started. Choose whether you want it to be on Windows, Mac OS, Linux or Chrome OS. So, this is the first step. The second step is to download as well the Visual Studio code. So, Visual Studio code, just by going to code.visualstudio.com, you will be heading the right place. So simply click on the first link, make sure it is the blue logo, not the purple logo because there is the difference between Visual Studio Code and the Visual Studio. So here we are, now simply click on this arrow and choose either uh, what is your system basically, Mac OS, Windows, Linux and then click here if you want to see other downloads or just to just open it on web. So now I have it installed and downloaded on my PC so I will just simply click here search for Visual Studio Code and open it. And just close this one. Visual Studio. Here we go. Now let's wait until it opens. And here I am. So guys, now basically it is very much straightforward. The next thing to do is to make sure that your Flutter is downloaded. And after that, as you can see here on the left, you will find Explorer, Search, Source Control, Run and Debug and Extensions. So here basically just click on this and search for Flutter. And as you can see, here it is. So this is Flutter for VS Code. Now all you need to do to add it is simply by clicking on Install and it should start installing right in front of you. It shouldn't take that much of time, it can take at maximum 20 seconds and at least like 15 seconds. Since the files in here are not really that big, any kind of like uh, plugin that you add or you download on the uh, this actual platform, which is VS Code, it doesn't have that much of like size, it will be a small size. Now what is basically this platform and what is this tool actually and how can I uh, get uses of it. Well, introduction. This VS Code extension adds support for effectively editing, refactoring, running, and reloading Flutter mobile apps. It depends on and will automatically install the Dart extension. So as you can see, it will be automatically installed as well. That's why it took a little bit more time for support for the Dart programming language. Note, project should be run using F5 or debug menu for full debugging functionality. Running from the built-in terminal will not provide all features. So installation installed from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace or by searching within VS Code. The Dart extension will be installed automatically if not already installed. Documentation, make sure to see this documentation so you can find all the information necessary. So let's go open it and here we go. So this is an article made by them, it explains how to start a project and how to start everything uh, of Flutter inside of VS Code. So let's read it out. So as you can see here guys, we have installation and setup, so here I have already shown you how to do that, click on extension, if the Flutter extension has an available update, update it, reload and restart VS Code. Now the creation of a project, how can we create a new project using it? So to create a new Flutter project from the Flutter starter app template, go to view, comment palette and you can also click on control cmd shift plus p which is <laughs> very hard to get into so simply all you need to do is go to vs code click on view and here you will find content palette search for flutter so here we go flutter new project and here as you can see we should download the sdk so we should download it uh, do you want to download so go here as i said go to windows and you should of course download the sdk as i said so i have it already installed i guess somewhere here let me just go to downloads and here it is yes exactly here so now just click on flutter go here and make sure that it is installed so you should run it through this uh, battery which is right here the flutter console and it will be good to go and you will be running it without any problems so here as you can see type flutter select the flutter new project press enter select application and press enter select the project location and 
enter your desired project name. So how can we open a project from existing source code? Simply go to file, open, you can also press Ctrl CMD0 and browse to the director holding your existing Flutter source code files and click open. Now for editing code and viewing issues, simply the Flutter extension performs code analysis. The code analysis can highlight the language syntax, complete code based on rich type analysis, navigate to type declarations, go to go, go to the definition, uh, you can also press F12, find type usages, press Shift plus F12, view all current source code problems, go to view problems. You can also press Ctrl slash CMD plus Shift M, the problems pen displays any analysis issues. As you can see here, it will be something around that. Now for running and debugging, as you can see here, they said like uh, every run and debug, as you can see, node project should be run using F5 or the, or the debug menu. So what about that exactly? So here, as you can see, so note, you can debug your app in a couple of ways. Using dev tools, a suite of debugging and profiling tools that's run in a browser. Using VS Code, built in debugging features such as getting breakpoints. The instructions below describe features available in VS Code for information on using launching dev tools. See running dev tools from VS Code in the dev tools docs. So to start debugging by clicking run and start debugging from the main EDE window or press F5. So simply they said to go to VS Code press F5 and you will be able to start debugging but here as you can see I don't have uh, I have to need to add the flutter which I currently don't have I need to install it through the dot uh, or the, through the exec execution uh, folder that I have showed you right before I started this process there is also guys a lot of uh, extensions or other extensions that can come with the same name of Flutter. So there's for example Flutter widget snippet. Uh, they can have other stuff more than the normal Flutter uh, extension. Uh, there is Flutter files. So each one of these can actually have a lot of benefits on your projects on Flutter in VS Code. So make sure to take a look on all of them because they can be very very useful. Especially each one of them is not added for no reason. They have all a lot of downloads. So each one of them, for example, Flutter has seven million downloads. The second one has one million. This one has four thousand, four hundred thousand. This one has two hundred thousand. This one has like four hundred thousand. So there is a lot of actual tools and extensions that are being used by dozens and thousands, thousand hundreds of people uh, around the world to execute their codes perfectly. And yeah guys, that was it for today's video. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.